Hi, it's uh, Julian Ridden here, aka The Moodle Man, and, and welcome to our second video, this time looking at podcasting in Moodle. To do this, I thought best to actually show you live examples, so let's actually skip straight to it. Uh, this is Quantum, this is the e-learning system that we've deployed at uh, Riverview College, the place where I'm currently working, and what you are looking at here is actually a standard Moodle. Uh, it's out-of-the-box Moodle, we haven't changed the code. Of course, we've done our own themes though and added some modules. And one module about it, of course, that we're talking about is the podcast. So I'm actually going to go to a course that we've actually created. Um, so the course, um, we call it Rivercast, Riverview, we thought it was a funny take on the podcast term. And what we actually have here is the podcast that our teachers have been uploading. We've just separated them by year group. Of course, there is nothing to stop you putting a podcast into an existing course for Year 7 Science or Year 8 Maths. Uh, we just like the idea of having a central repository in one course where you could find them all. So look, let's actually show an example of this code in action. Please bear in mind I am log logged in as a teacher, so I'll be able to show you both uh, what the student sees and what the teacher sees. For this example, let's have a look at our Year 7 podcast. And I've got two created at the moment, both these created by teachers. Um, let's have a look, for instance, at Year 7 Art. Now, because I'm in Moodle, the great thing about it is, of course, is that the Moodle filters have automatically gone and embedded the media right here. So for students who don't have a podcasting program or, or don't know how to use one, they can come into here and hit the play button and be able to watch the video live inside of Moodle. So let's just have this play for a second. As you can see, it's a, a pretty simple uh, podcast there that a teacher's created. So, you know, it's very simple for the student. Of course, what happens if there's more than one video? Well, let me just jump back and let's have a look maybe at Year 7 Science. Year 7 Science has a series of videos that the teacher has added. If I just scroll down the page here, you can see that just listed by date value one after the other. So, for a student, it's very easy. For those of them who are savvy and who want to actually watch this podcast in a program like iTunes or maybe even an external browser, a browsing a video uh, application player, sorry, like an iPod or a Zoom, what they can do is just click on these buttons on the side. Now there's a standard RSS for any program, but there's also some specific ones. I'm on a Mac, so if I actually click on the iTunes link, you see that it's brought iTunes straight up and it's now downloading the most recent video. If I want to, I can actually choose to actually get all the videos in this podcast so far, so it's very simple. And rather than having to go to the web page to watch it, I can just come in here, double click, and watch the video, you know, live here on my computer. Best of all, if I actually want to watch it on a mobile device, I plug in, in this case I've plugged in my iPhone, it could be an iPod, it could be a Zoom, or any other external device, as you can see here. And if I went back to my U7 Science, one tap, there, you can see that you know the same video is now playing on an external media device. So what we have now is one tool that's gone through and really I guess hit both audiences on the head without having to duplicate any work. For a teacher to add a file it's also very simple. All they have to do is come in and click on add an item. Uh, obviously a student won't see that option. If they go add an item they can just give it a title, a description, and like anything in Moodle, I can just browse and either choose an existing file or upload a new one. So there's no actual re-education for the staff member or teacher to have to use because they've been using these kinds of tools in Moodle with resources and web page links and so forth. So that's just a quick look at the code and, and some of the possibilities. I hope that gives you some ideas. Uh, please feel free to check out the Moodle forums uh, for some other information. And I, I'd urge you, if you're going to do podcasting, to really check it out. Thanks. Until next time, I'll see you then.